the treaty counties, green and white flags are blowing in the Midwest wind once again this year as Limerick goes for its fourth All-Ireland in a row. It's fifth in six years since it broke the 45-year curse in 2018. At Napiershik Club, who have four players on the panel, there's anticipation but nervousness too. Limerick's domination acknowledged by former players, but nothing is being taken for granted. I think it's going to be very, very tight. Um, I would say that Limerick are building since their defeat to Clare in, in the Munster Championship. I think every game that they've played since they've been slowly coming back to you know what signs of their best so uh, you know it's it's all kind of set up for Limerick to produce their best now uh, I think they'll need to as well they're a super bunch of players I mean they're great athletes look at the size of them and and and, and the hurling and you would never worry they could be what five six ten points down but they'll find a way out to come back and win a match for you they're brilliant I think what's happening at the moment with the team is they're not concentrating on four there's no way they're thinking about four in a row they're thinking of the next match which is the All-Ireland final this golden period in Limerick hurling has resulted in huge numbers of young boys and girls taking up the sport at club level. Um, Limerick, they were doing well this season, but um, Kilkenny, they'll be very hungry for revenge in the final they want. They want to win this year, seeing as they didn't win last year. I think that uh, Limerick have a very good chance of winning, but Kilkenny are very tough, so they'll be out for revenge. This really is a golden era, and you know, the people that put this in place, the Joe McKinnons, the Mike Reardons, and uh, all the lads that put the academy in place, this is where this success is coming from, and long may it last. This hurling success has been the source of great pride and great stories in the past six years, with no let up in the hurling buzz. It's given a huge boost to the county. You would think, I suppose, since 2018 that we would be used to it by now, but we're not. Um, I think every year there's more and more people, I suppose, getting behind the team, people from abroad. So I think the excitement is really palpable, especially in the final days leading up to the game. And the Limerick Abu boat, a symbol of good luck, is sailing along the Shannon again after bad weather sank her earlier this month. It's kind of a good luck charm. We, we kind of are superstitious about it anyway. And other people say, you better get that boat back up. And we did. We did. It's great. Cathy Halloran, RTE News, Limerick.